good night all welcome back to anita's channel once again i love to take the time out to say welcome 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 once again i want to thank my subscribers everyone who would have subscribed to anita's channel and everyone that haven't subscribed like i always say don't be afraid this is a confident environment where you hear a lot of inspirational stuff godly stuff and inspiring stuff but tonight you know what i want to talk about i want to talk about the million dollar question okay what is the million dollar question what is the million dollar question well the million dollar question is tonight that is our topic for tonight how many how many millionaires do you know that are working for someone so, as I write down in my little book, as we have this discussion, the million dollar question is how many? How many? If you have a pen, if you have a paper, grab your book. Grab your book. Grab your book. Because the million dollar question is tonight. How many millionaires do you know that are working for someone? That's our question for tonight. The million dollar question is. How many millionaires do you know that are working for someone? Okay, now I need interaction. Interactions, please. I need interactions. So, what you can do is either like, share, subscribe, comment. Comment down below for me because I want to know. I want to know. The million dollar question is how many millionaires do you know that are literally working for someone now we're not going to be long tonight but we want to elaborate can you actually think of any millionaires any millionaires that you know that are working for someone and let's go on to say if you were a millionaire would you be on someone's job I think not okay so the million dollar question is how many millionaires do you know me with my pen and my book how many millionaires that you know working on someone's job for me my answer to that question is no one no millionaires that I know that are literally working for someone no one and even though I may not know any millionaires personally but I do know celebrity millionaires and so forth or whatever else. But they are not working. The ones that I know aren't working for anyone. So you do the maths. You may have some millionaires that have different streams of in income. But they're not working for anyone. No millionaires is working for anyone. So my advice for you guys tonight. Take your book, take your pen, write down. Write down the list of millionaires, do research. Write down the list of millionaires that you know that are working for people. And if you can find at least, let's, let's go with a number. If you can find at least 10 millionaires, 10 millionaires that are working for someone, drop, drop their names in the comment. Drop their names in the comment if you can find 10. I'm not even going to research because millionaires, they don't work for nobody. They work for themselves. And if you know some millionaires that are working for someone, that's not their full-time job. It's not their full-time job. So, the million-dollar question is, how many millionaires do you know that are working for someone? None. To my knowledge, I don't know any. I don't know any millionaires that are working with somebody. But listen, listen to this. How can you be? Come a millionaire. <laughs> I'm not one yet. I am not a millionaire yet. But I can give you some steps as to becoming a millionaire. One, one step to becoming a millionaire. You can't be working for people. You got to start your own. You got to launch your own business. If the million dollar question is, how many millionaires do you know that are working for people? None. To my knowledge, none. 
I don't know any millionaires that are working for someone. So if you're going to become a millionaire, you ain't going to be working for somebody. You cannot be working for somebody and become a millionaire. In today's society, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where in the world you may be. If you're working for someone, you're not going to become a millionaire. You're not going to become a millionaire. And in society today, in most societies today, let me use, for instance, the continent that I live in, the Bahamas. In the Caribbean is where I live, but in the Bahamas, you have most persons that are dedicated to jobs and they work on jobs for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. They give their life to these jobs. So please tell me, they give their life to these jobs and when they come off these jobs, they waiting on the government pension to pay them. So now, after you give your whole life to these jobs, you give your whole life, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years to these jobs, and now you come off the job, what? They give you a package. You may get yourself a little $100,000, $200,000. Again, still not a millionaire. And most persons that own these jobs, that put in these times, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, they in so many debt. They would have bank for the house because the house ain't paid off. So the money the company gives them to go and to go with their, what you call it, farewell package for leaving the company. They got to use that to pay off the debts, pay off the homes, what they own or whatever else. So they're just living life off of the little stipend the government given, given them. Let me tell you guys something, values. You got to have values and you got to have a mindset. Everything starts in the mind is a mindset. I don't care how much money you have in your bank account. Because every millionaire that are millionaires now started off with zero dollars in their bank account. So if they started off with zero dollars in their bank account, you can do it as well. Everything is a process. It's a process, but only one thing is you got to learn strategies. Strategies around these things. Strategies and outcome. And you can't have the mindset of, oh, child, I got a job. That's my main income. Well... If you have a job and that's your main income and that's all that you want to do, okay, so be it. But to the persons that are out there that are striving to hit these money marks, million dollar marks, and to be somebody in life, let me tell you something, there's nothing that you cannot do. The rich getting richer off the poor. The rich, you hear that? The rich getting richer off of the poor. So you do the maths. If the rich getting rich up for the poor and the poor people saying they ain't got it, but it's the poor people who making the rich people richer. Because why? You are the ones that are feeding into these rich people establishment or into their business, investing into it, buying stuff from them. Okay? So the million dollar question is how many millionaires that you know that you know that are working on someone's job. I got my book here. I got my pen here. I don't have one millionaire name written down on my book. None. Now you may have some persons stay comfortable. They will be a millionaire. Well, that's fine. You have different levels, different levels of millionaires. When you hit that first million, when you hit that second million, when you hit that third million, when you hit that four million, when you hit that five million, but. The thing is, the strategy is hitting your first million. Hitting your first million. And you ain't gonna hit your first million if you've been on somebody else's jobs for over 50 years. That's most of your years of your life gone. So when you come over that job, the only thing you could do is relax. Relax. And this season is strategy. It's strategy time. It's time to enjoy the inheritance that the Lord has left for his people. And let me tell you something. The Bible decree and the Bible declare, I have not seen the righteous forsaken, neither have I seen them begging for bread. Okay? So, if the word of God decree and declare, I have not seen the righteous forsaken, neither have I seen them begging for bread. Neither have I seen them begging for bread. Let me tell you something. If the wicked people of this earth 
can have a substantial income and be hitting these six figures and all of these type of figures, the people of God can hit it too. And my followers can hit it too. I can tell you guys one day and I can look back at the same video that I posted. I'm going to be a millionaire one day. One day I'm going to be a millionaire and it's not going to be long soon. I'm going to speak these things into existence. Speak these things into the existence. If you want to live an okay life or just right now life as a paycheck to paycheck life, that's on you. But where you going to get to go with a paycheck to paycheck life? Nowhere. You got to create strategies. 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 Okay? Go into the market. And figure out what is the best thing that you can invest in. What can you invest in that's going to bring you money? Okay? Or find something that you love to do and invest in it. And invest in it. Use it as your million dollar mark. But you, but the thing about it is, we listen to this million dollar question. We listen to this million dollar mark. But it's not going to come if you're not consistent. Everything is a consistency basic. You got to have that consistency inside your mind. You got to have strategy. You got to have strategy. Someone can tell you something. Someone can tell you something. But it's up to you to take that strategy. Start in your mind. You got to think of ways. Think of ways that you can hit that mark. Yes, you're going to have to start from zinch. Whatever it is, you got to start from zinch. You got to learn how to flip. Flip your money. Whatever it is that you can invest your money in, flip it. You understand? And as you begin to see um, income or profit, you got to put up your profit. Or whatever it is that you start off with, you got to use that and continue to flip that. Continue to flip it. But you got to have a mindset. A mindset. Of a millionaire okay this is millionaire season you understand this is millionaire season so let me tell you something if you're on that run to becoming a millionaire trust you me you can't be settling in a job and have this mindset for every day okay I'm just waking up going to work well that's on you that's on you if you're planning on working for someone for 50 years or for so many years sis or brother you're gonna be in that same position in that same position you understand either you gonna be the millionaire or you gonna be the some person or working for the millionaire you understand and is one thing you would have people working for these multi-million dollar company and they're only making pennies nickels and dime pennies nickels and dime that's all they make in you make it working for a million dollar company and you're making pennies, nickels, and dimes. Okay? So, like I say, you get the rich becoming rich. Sure, off the poor. Off the poor. You understand? And if you won't be successful, trust you me, the journey is you gotta spread your wings and you gotta fly. You gotta fly. You understand? You got to be able to find something that you can invest in to make money. You understand? And we're not talking about making money just to have money or just to be wealthy. No. You got to enjoy life. If you want to enjoy life to the fullest, you got to be financially stable. That's number one. Ain't nobody got time to be living in luck. You understand? If you are a chosen vessel of God or a child of God, you're not going to be living in lack. You got to want it. You got to want it badly. You got to want it badly. You understand? You got to want something badly. So you understand? The first step of that journey of becoming a millionaire, trust you me, you got to have a side hustle. Once your side hustle begins, to grow where it can sustain you. That it can sustain you. You got to cut ties from that million dollar job. Working for nickels and dime. And you got to go full force into your hustle. You understand? 
and it doesn't matter how much money you're hustle making you gotta learn strategies strategies around things and invest in businesses or things that you know that's gonna earn you profit you understand and you can't tell everybody what you're doing or what you're about to do you get so many sour mouths out there that's trying to spoil your milk you have plenty sour mouths out there that's trying to spoil your milk so you can't let everyone hear what you are planning to do or what you're about to do when you pop up a millionaire when you pop up wealthy wealthy then that's when they know when they'll know the Bible even tells you that the left, your left hand know what your right hand do it. But let me tell you something. This is millionaire season as I speak it over my life. Over my life. And over the lives of the person that believe that they are going to be a millionaire someday. And I know that I'm going to be a millionaire someday. And I'm going to look right back at this same video. This same video. But you got to understand. If you want to be a millionaire, you got to have learned strategies. And the first thing you need to know about becoming a millionaire you're not gonna become a millionaire on somebody else's job no 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 you're not gonna become a millionaire they gonna use you dry as they do on these jobs you use you dry and when you put in the many years the only thing you come out with is nickels and dime this is not nickels and dime season this is time to make that money you understand Make that money. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. If the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, you really think now the people of God will be living in lack or should be living in lack? Uh -uh. Trust in the Lord always. Trust in Him always. And I can't I say rejoice. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and it shall. You shall find it. Knock and indeed the door shall be open. But you got to understand that the first thing, step of becoming a millionaire is not being on someone's job. You got to create your side hustle. Invest in your side hustle. Trust you me. The money may not come in as fast as you think it's going to come. But whatever you do, you got to be so supportive in it. And you got to hustle out. Hustle out of whatever it is that you desire to do. And as you're doing, don't let your left hand know what you're doing. You have many people out there that are trying to pull down your words but in this season we cancel out every bad mind evil spirit in the mighty name of jesus the million dollar question is how many millionaires that you know that you know that are working on jobs on people jobs we have too many workers everybody come for say below this is my job this is my job oh i'm this on this job okay then what you got Dep. all you got is Dep working for people Dep, dep, dep. The best thing to do in this season is to be debt free. Get your, start your hustle up from scratch. Don't owe no banks, no money for nothing. Because let me tell you something. The minute you get yourself in these debt from these banks, where do you borrow a hundred grand from the bank? If you borrow a hundred grand from the bank and you can't use that a hundred thousand dollars that you buy from the bank, to allow you to make a million dollars, whereas you can give that bank that a thousand dollars back and you can just float up the money which you have. Trust you me, you're gonna be in debt long. You have many people that are going to bank, going to the bank for these type of money. Instead of using these money to invest or to gain profit, they're using these money for their own things. Yes, you take your hundred thousand, you get from the bank, you invest it, put it down on the house. Now you're on your job working for this millionaire making nickels and dime. The money that you're making ain't even enough to pay off this hundred grand that you borrow from the bank within ten years, maybe. It ain't enough. It ain't even enough to pay off the bank within twenty years. So now you stuck in debt because you ain't making no type of money to pay them back. And if you decide to come off this job now to, to start a side hustle everything you make from your side hustle gotta go towards this loan you gotta realize if you're gonna be successful in life you can't have too many debt over your head you cannot have plenty debt over your head so if you're gonna become successful the first one of the second step the second step of becoming a millionaire is you cannot have too much debt over your head if you have debt you can be stuck on the job that you're on because you know you gotta pay it back. 
because if you don't have the money to pay these people back you know the banks can be calling the banks can be calling or they can call the authorities to come after you and whatever else so let me tell you something the first step of becoming a millionaire is first you gotta come off these people job and when you come off these people job you gotta make sure that the side hustle that you have is enough to sustain you okay so the first thing is coming off these people job the second thing is making sure that your side hustle is strong enough to sustain you the third thing is you gotta make sure that you don't have no debt over your head because these are things that are hindrance you have too many debt over your head you ain't you ain't have the mindset of hustling ahead at what you really want to accomplish no because why you look into the debt that is holding you down debt working for people trust you me i know side hustle that's right there's a zero that's a zero tolerance you ain't getting nowhere with that million dollar question is how many people you know that are millionaires are working for people for someone else no one's inch from you hit your first million from you hit your first million that's money right there to start your own business more than enough money to start your own business but remember you already had your hustle so from you hit your first million that's money right there for you to invest harder in your biz business to go towards your second million but the goal is hitting your first millionaire mark and becoming a millionaire you ain't gonna become a millionaire working for people or sitting on that million millionaire job making nickels and dimes you gotta create a side hustle and you gotta make sure the side hustle that you created you're gonna go hustle hard after after it after it so time to start doing big things big things or even in big things if a millionaire could become a millionaire overnight then all of us would become a millionaire so this journey ain't easy you will start off with your nickels and dime but you gotta know how to flip these nickels and dimes and when you flip these nickels and dime and you make your profit you gotta know how to put up the profit and use what you start with to flip again okay so this million dollar question for you guys to take away go go around in your society and find out how many millionaires or ask people how many millionaires do you know that are working for people how many write it down drop in the comments let's talk let's talk let's talk and again i want to say thank you guys for tuning in tuning in tuning in to nevis channel once again if you haven't hit that subscription button hit that subscription button this is our winning season winning seasons we need to talk we need to communicate in the comments you guys tell me reach out to me how many millionaires do you know how many millionaires do you know that are working for people so if you're going to be a millionaire you cannot be working on people job for so many years 20 years 40 years 50 years that's all your life when you finish you're tired you don't have no energy and doing nothing or whatever else if god placed you on this life for a purpose not to be nothing in life accomplish everything that you can accomplish and whatever it is that you accomplish you always give thanks to the glory of god but that's our million dollar question for the night how many millionaires that you know that are working on someone's job and like i say keys to becoming a millionaire is Firstly, you got to get off that job that you're on. But before you do that, you got to make sure the second step, you got to make sure that your side hustle your side hustle is substantial enough to support you when you come off of that job. The third thing is you got to make sure you got to make sure you don't have no debt over your head because if you have debt debt over your head you ain't gonna, you ain't really can flourish you ain't can get there so it's best it's best not to have these debt over your head people that are going to banks and stuff and seeking banks I'm really something if you ain't going to the bank for money 
to flip into more money that's a dead investment and you can be in debt you can be in debt because if you go into the bank for two hundred and something thousand and you want somebody else job you ain't gonna leave that job because you have this debt over your head two hundred thousand dollars for you to pay off whilst you're working for somebody you ain't gonna come off that job to go try create no side hustle because the minute your side hustle may be creeping to get what you needed to get you will have them people calling you them banks calling you the police following you so the jobs and the steps the steps to becoming a millionaire is you gotta make sure you're an entrepreneur and your side hustle is strong enough to sustain you you gotta make sure that you don't have no debt over your head and then you gotta leave that job and you gotta invest strongly into your business trust in me if you follow these steps you will indeed become a millionaire trust in me this video this video you're listening to you're listening to this video from someone who is a not a millionaire yet but we're gonna look back at the same video the same video i'm gonna look back at and i'm gonna say yes i did it yes i already started my journey of becoming a millionaire number one i am not in any debt i don't owe nobody any money so that's the first step for me i don't owe anybody no money my second step is my side hustle i already have my side hustle i already have my side hustle now once my side hustle get to that step where as it can sustain me do you know what the next step is for me getting off these people job and hustling hard into my business investing in it so you trust you me once you don't have no debt over your head you can be successful you will be successful and don't go to any banks for any money unless you can use that money to flip to bring you back double you gotta be smart in this season these millionaires they smart they know what they're doing they getting richer on for the poor. So the poor got our strategies. You got our strategy in this season. Once again, I want to say thank you guys for listening to Nita's channel. Thank you guys for listening to Nita's channel. We're going to be back with a lot of more encouraging stuff, word stuff, biblical stuff, godly stuff. Trust me, this is millionaire season. Millionaire season. Millionaire season. The million dollar question is, you go to your research. How many millionaires are you know? that you know that are working for someone everyone have a blessed night thank you for tuning into your girl straight out of the 242 needle once again if you haven't hit that subscription button like i say like share subscribe let's talk let's talk drop those comments in that comments bar let's chat have a good night all thanks for watching